join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. The story of invention is often told through the voices of those who had the power, resources, and social standing to ensure that their names were etched into the annals of history. Yet behind the curtain of fame and recognition lies another group of pioneers whose ideas and creations quietly shaped the modern world. Their stories are not always celebrated, their names not always taught in schools, and their legacies sometimes obscured by systemic injustices. Among them stands Richard Bowie Spikes, a brilliant African-American inventor whose ingenuity not only transformed the automobile industry, but also left behind a trail of contributions that influenced the daily lives of millions. The automatic gear shift, the innovation most associated with his name, revolutionized driving by making it more accessible, safer, and convenient. To explore the life and work of Spikes is to journey through the intersection of black creativity, systemic barriers, and the enduring human drive to innovate against all odds. Richard Bowie Spikes was born in Texas in 1878, during a period when African Americans were only a generation removed from the chains of slavery. The Reconstruction era had collapsed into the harsh realities of Jim Crow segregation, disenfranchisement, and the systematic exclusion of black people from institutions of education and commerce. Despite these overwhelming challenges, black communities across the United States nurtured an unshakable tradition of resilience, creativity, and self-reliance. Spike's upbringing occurred within this crucible of cultural determination. His family valued education and ingenuity, encouraging him to pursue learning despite the limited opportunities available to black men in the South. From a young age, he showed a keen interest in mechanics, machines, and the ways in which tools could be designed to solve everyday problems. By the early 20th century, the United States was gripped by the automobile revolution. Henry Ford's assembly line was making cars increasingly affordable for the average American, and the nation's infrastructure began to evolve around this new mode of transport. Automobiles, however, were not easy to operate. Gear shifting, in particular, required skill and physical effort. Early vehicles used manual gear systems that were both complicated and potentially dangerous. For inexperienced drivers, Shifting gears at the wrong time could damage the vehicle or even cause accidents. In this environment, the seed of Richard Spike's most famous contribution began to take root. Spike's life as an inventor was marked by persistence and a determination to solve problems he encountered in the world around him. His first recorded patent came in 1907 for a beer tapper that allowed beer to flow smoothly while keeping it fresh and chilled an innovation that revolutionized tavern equipment. This invention showcased his ability to refine everyday mechanisms for better efficiency. But his interests extended far beyond bar equipment. He moved on to more complex inventions, driven by his understanding of mechanical processes and his desire to make systems safer and more user-friendly. By 1932, Spikes had secured the patent that would become his most enduring legacy, the automatic gear shift. At its core, his invention was designed to improve how vehicles transition between gears. Instead of the clunky, manually intensive process that drivers were forced to endure, Spike's gear shift allowed for smoother automated transitions. This not only reduced the wear and tear on vehicles, but also made driving more intuitive and less intimidating for the average person. The automatic gear shift did more than just improve convenience. It expanded accessibility, enabling more people including women and those with less physical strength, to drive comfortably. In many ways, this democratization of driving mirrored broader social changes in America as technology broke down barriers and reshaped everyday life. Spike's contribution to the automotive industry did not exist in isolation. He was part of a broader tradition of black inventors whose work fundamentally shaped American society, often without receiving the credit they deserved. Like Garrett Morgan, who invented the traffic light and the gas mask, or Granville T. Woods, known as the Black Edison for his numerous electrical innovations, Spike's brilliance reflected a lineage of African-American inventors who carved out space in a world designed to deny them opportunity. Their innovations emerged not in laboratories with vast resources, but in workshops, 
basements, and community spaces where necessity and imagination fuel progress. The path to securing patents was not easy for black inventors in Spike's era. The patent system, while theoretically race-neutral, was embedded within a society that routinely denied African Americans access to capital, networks, and platforms to promote their work. Many black inventors were forced to sell their patents cheaply to white-owned companies, losing out on both recognition and profit. In many cases, their inventions were used widely, while their names faded into obscurity. Spikes himself faced these barriers but persevered, obtaining more than a dozen patents across his lifetime. These ranged from improvements in trolley systems to safety measures in automotive technology, such as a brake system and a gear shifting mechanism that influenced later designs. His work on the automatic gear shift in particular demonstrated not just mechanical skill, but visionary foresight. He saw a problem that limited accessibility to cars and found a way to solve it at a time when automobiles were becoming central to modern life. Without innovations like his, the automobile industry might have developed along a slower or more exclusionary path, reinforcing social divisions instead of bridging them. By easing the physical and technical demands of driving, Spikes contributed to a culture in which the automobile became an everyday tool rather than a luxury item or a specialized skill. Yet Spike's story is not merely one of invention. It is also a story of resilience in the face of systemic erasure. While his name is far less recognized than those of white inventors in the automobile industry, his legacy persists in the very fabric of modern driving. Every time a driver smoothly shifts gears without effort, they are participating in a system shaped by his genius. And beyond automobiles, his other inventions continue to speak to his creative spirit. For instance, his design of a trolley pole system improved public transportation, while his safety braking systems anticipated the increasing need for secure and efficient vehicles in a rapidly urbanizing world. In later life, Spikes continued to invent even as he lost his eyesight, powerful testament to his determination. In 1962, at the age of 84 and nearly blind, he patented a brake safety system for school buses, underscoring his lifelong commitment to safety and public welfare. Few inventors in history have displayed such persistence and creativity well into their elder years, and his example challenges assumptions about age, ability, and innovation. The broader historical context of Spike's work must also be understood as part of the African-American struggle for recognition in the face of systemic racism. His inventions did not exist in a vacuum. They were produced during decades when black inventors had to fight not only for patents, but also for basic dignity and equality. Their stories reveal how innovation and creativity can emerge even from the most constrained circumstances, offering powerful lessons about the nature of human ingenuity. Spike's automatic gear shift is therefore more than just a technical achievement. It is a symbol of resilience, creativity, and the capacity of marginalized people to shape the future despite systemic exclusion. Today, when we consider the evolution of the automobile, from its earliest manual systems to the advanced automatic transmissions and even self-driving vehicles of the 21st century, it is essential to trace these developments back to the foundations laid by figures like Richard Bowie Spikes. His work reminds us that history is not solely shaped by those whose names dominate textbooks, but also by those who labored in obscurity their genius recognized only belatedly. By honoring his legacy, we not only acknowledge his specific contributions, but also restore a more complete and truthful history of American innovation. The story of Richard Bowie Spikes invites us to reflect on the countless other innovators whose names may never be known, yet whose work has quietly shaped the modern world. His legacy is a reminder that innovation does not belong to any one race or class, but is a universal human trait flourishing wherever imagination meets necessity. In recognizing Spikes as the black inventor who created the automatic gear shift, we reclaim a piece of history that underscores the power of invention to transcend barriers and to leave an enduring mark on the fabric of everyday life.